Welcome to How to EGD. I'm Stephen Klein and I've taught this subject for more than 16 years. And you know what? Over all this time, learners keep making the same mistakes. And I'm now fed up. We need to do something about it. We need to address the top five mistakes learners make in the various drawings within engineering graphics and design. So please help me out, subscribe to this channel and share these videos to as many of your friends as possible because we need to address it on a national level. We can't go into the final exams in this year and still make the same mistakes. And I'm going to start off with addressing the mistakes, the top five mistakes within civil drawings. And then we'll continue in the series. But I'm also already preparing how to prepare for your final exams. And those videos will discuss the full paper one and paper two. So make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Do not miss those updates. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with civil drawings. Let's go. Okay, mistake number five in the top five mistakes in civil is that learners never remember to convert their measurements into meters. If you look at the questions here, it's normally very clearly specified in meter, in meter, whenever there is a calculation to be done. Okay, so you can't give an answer in millimeters. You are going to be losing marks here. It needs to be converted into meters, like in this correct example shown here. Righto, number four is the easy one. That is where learners forget to draw a windowsill underneath a window. Here's, for instance, a correct example. You can clearly see the window still drawn in there. Okay, number three is when they insert the window in the floor plan, you can see here that there's a gap being left in the question. Now, the sizing of this window doesn't just slot into that actual gap. The gap is always bigger than the actual window if you look at your question. So, please remember that to do that correctly, you have to lengthen those uh, wall lines and the actual window must be according to the question asked. Number two is that learners forget to label the different elevations. All right, a simple label like that can cost you marks. You need to make sure you enter the actual label and the scale at each and every elevation. Radio, and then the last mistake that I'm going to highlight is whenever you have a porch like this and you've already done your hatching in your external and internal walls, do not forget to also hatch these pillars whenever they're made with bricks. And then the bonus one that I just think of as I'm standing here is that whenever there's external wall light, we need to see the actual backplate of that light whenever you uh, do draw that. So you see there was a minus half missed by this learner. Okay, oh, that wraps it up. You actually got six mistakes here in this video. Look out for the next one. All the best. Now it's your turn. 